Hello everyone, this is one of the other important video about Reno PLC. In this video, you will learn how to create communication between PLC and HMI. Before everything, you must choose a PLC and HMI that are compatible and can communication with each other. Uh, make sure to check that the communication protocol is supported by both devices. Here are the base PLC model that I am going to work on is FL004-0806N-V2 uh, with an expansion model of FLA0402U-12 and an HMI model of FP207T-S1-V2 Firstly, start from the PLC uh, Create your project we talk about how to create your project and select your PLC in previous videos in more details. Uh, so in this video, I directly start from the communication setting. Uh, before I start uh, writing a program from network configuration, uh, specify your COM. Uh, I selected COM. Uh, it is very important to select the right COM. Uh, right click on and then a window will pop up like this from the protocol part select uh, flexilogic slave driver and then apply and close it uh, here I use leather logic for programming uh, we have three uh, temperature set points and three for the time for each set point the temperature stand constant uh, when the time for the first set point of the temperature filled, it goes to the second step and continue. Uh, when you done the program, uh, click on tag that you selected will appear here. Right click on comp, uh, you will see assign sequential addresses and remove mapped addresses. Click on assign sequential addresses. After doing that, uh, you have given address for each of the variables. Uh, finally, click on save. Now you can see that the tag address uh, to the project uh, file is as Excel file. Now go to the HMI part. Uh, this is our first video doing the HMI. Before that, uh, determine your network configuration to import tags from the PLC. So go to the network configuration, select the right cam for the communication. In this model of HMI, I have only one cam. Right click on, select add from here. From protocol, select FlexiLogic Master Driver. Then select the PLC comp that you have already uh, determined. That was PLC comp picky. Select. Apply it, click OK. A window will pop up like lock report. Close it. Close it. After you import the tags uh, from the base screen, you can create the screen. Uh, from here, you can add different buttons uh, like set bit, reset bit, momentary, uh, momentary bit, toggle bit. Uh, you can write value to the tag uh, and any other buttons. Uh, from here, you can show the data. Uh, these are all simple. You can easily create your HMI screen. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.